to Keith Donaldson, Springfield, Missouri, from Maxis International Rancho Cucamonga, California. I had a Maxis High Roller 2 on the front of my mountain bike that developed some insane cracking all along the sidewalls. Did I pitch it? Did I replace it? Did I contact Maxis? Stick around and find out. A few months ago, I noticed some severe cracking on the sidewall of the original equipment, Maxxis High Roller 2, that came on the Orbea Aka mountain bike. It was a 2016 bike. The tire was about two years old and had about 1,500 miles on it. I'm not an extreme shredder, so the, uh, the tire had lasted that long until I noticed the cracking. I snapped some pictures, shared it on social media. I realized a couple of days later, somebody else said that another rider in our local community had a very similar cracking, but all along the tread. And then I put two to two together and realized that both he and I were on the same ride back in January, only a couple of weeks before I noticed the cracking. The big significant thing about this ride that we were on together was that it was two below zero on this ride with snow on the ground. Here are some clips. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> it's snowing again. Woohoohoohoo! Awesome. Say go. Can you get some of this action? Yeah. If it'll turn on. I can get my phone in there. It's all fogged up too. You want to gather up for a frosty beard pick? Yeah. Oh, dude, yours is happening. Man, oh, 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 man. My phone's covered in ice. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Wow. Yeah, it won't turn on. Battery's Make frozen. Sure you, can, like, you can ice your lock. So, same ride, about 8 or 10 riders, 20 total tires, only two had this severe cracking. One Michelin, one Maxxis. My buddy reached out to Michelin and never heard anything back. And I figured, you know, at least, at least I could try something. And uh, worst they could say is no. So, I looked at the Maxxis website and sure enough, there's a warranty form that you can submit. It asks a lot of uh, detailed information. And they require you to even submit some photos of the sidewall, um, the nomenclature on the side of the tire. Uh, they ask you for original proof of purchase, if it was an original equipment on the bike, all the details. Now keep in mind, this tire was two years old and had about 1,500 miles on it. I'm not a super shredder. I mean, I, I like to ride hard, but I'm just not a super shredder. So the tire lasted that long. Anyways, I submitted the form and uh, I wasn't really expecting to hear anything back, but I did. I got an email back from Maxis. They were asking me for some more specific information on the sidewall. I responded, no big deal. About a week later, I got a, a mysterious email in my inbox from UPS that said I had a UPS shipping label ready for me. I opened it up and it was a shipping label back to Maxis. Not a whole lot of information along with that. I boxed up the tire. I had to go to the bike shop and buy a replacement tire. Ended up with a Continental Trail King on the front of the bike. I shipped off the tire to Maxxis. I didn't know if they just wanted it for analysis, what I was going to ever hear from them again. Well, lo and behold, a couple of days ago, I get this box in the mail. And I'm going to say it again because I love saying the word Rancho Cucamonga, California. You're here with me. This is the very first time I've opened this box. This is a Maxxis High Roller 2 2.275 uh, by 2.4. 
EXO tire, tubeless ready. I don't know what 3C is, but uh, this will wait a little while to get mounted up because I have a, a fresh batch of the finish line, the brand new finish line sealant in that front tire, and I don't want to waste it. I'm doing a test on that. You'll see a review later. Uh, the finish line sealant promises to be a sealant that lasts the entire life of the tire. So you mount up your tire, you inject it with a sealant, and theoretically, according to their market promise, you'll never have to top it off or put any more sealant in until you end up replacing the tire. So anyways, back to the Maxxis. Thank you so much, Maxxis. Awesome warranty support. It's a very simple process, a little, a little detailed, but it's a simple, straightforward process. So if you have problems with your tires, don't hesitate to reach out to the manufacturer of the tire. Well done, Maxxis. You got the goat back as a customer. I really, really like it when a company follows through and supports their product. I mean, you could have the best product in the world, but if you don't back it, forget it. Hit like if you like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, and throw a comment if you've ever had to use warranty support on a tire or any other mountain bike product, mountain bike, road bike, gravel bike, whatever, any kind of cycling product. I wanna know the companies out there that back their products with a good warranty good warranty support. I'm not gonna stop riding in cold weather or extremes of weather. Um, there is no such thing as bad weather, only bad gear. And uh, I pushed the limits and found the limits of that tire compound, that's for sure. I'll see you out on the trails.